Get ready, everyone. All-Star action is coming your way. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. <laughs> this place is going to go crazy. Next up is the three-point contest for tonight. One NBA sharpshooter will add his name to a trophy that contains a who's who of the best long-range bombers in league history. There's a lot of tremendous three-point talent in the NBA. So it'll be flashed right here. He'll have 60 seconds to get off 25 shots from beyond the arc. Yeah, and with each make counting as one point, except the last ball of each rack, which counts for two. Yeah, that's the money ball, Clark, and those shots are usually the ones that end up deciding this contest. It's very rare for a guy in his rookie season to be in the three-point contest and making his debut here. A hot start is pretty essential, isn't it, Steve? I mean, it seems like we rarely see guys recover from a bad first rack or two. I think the key is that first money ball, Mr. Clark. Uh, you know, even if you miss a couple early, if you can make that money ball on the first rack, get a couple points under your belt, and all of a sudden you can settle down and start firing away. He's got eight. That's four in a row now. Five big points on that rack alone. That gives him 12. That's 13. How about that? That's his fifth consecutive make. Yeah, this is how you do it. Closing out with a bang. Makes it to 19. And it's 20. And he wasn't able to finish that last round. A very strong 20 points for him. He was really enjoying himself out there that time, guys. Yeah, it was a great finish to the round for him. He just got better and better as it went along. And so here's Curry now. The two-point balls can be the make or break factor in this event. Was hitting the money ball something that you thought about during the course of the round, Steve, or was it just another shot for you? No, it was critical, Clark, and I always tried to take just a split second longer on those money balls uh, just to make sure I held the follow-through, held my focus on the rim before moving on to the next rack. I was six. That's seven. Curry really is catching fire now. He's in the zone. He's starting to heat up now. Cool, he knocks down his fifth straight. That gives him 12. Just two points there. He won't be happy with that. That's 13. He's at 14. Hits for 15. So he ends up at 17. He turned in a pretty good round right there, don't you think? There were a few ups and downs, but... Overall, it turned out to be a fairly decent round. Yeah, I'd give him kind of a B-plus for that one. You know, you hope for more, but uh, it probably lived up to a reasonable expectation for him. So it'll be Kevin Martin here. Well, you talk about a guy with one of the quickest releases in the game. I think of Kevin Martin immediately. He's got an interesting-looking shot, but it repeats itself over and over again. That's why he's effective from out there. Your memory has to be very short in this format, like less than a second. You have to put every miss right behind you. Forget about it. Yeah, because one miss can easily turn into two and then three. And then you start racing because you're worried about the clock. And before you know it, uh, you're pretty much out of it. Starting to freeze up a bit. Another one off the mark. That's nine in a row. Drains the money ball. Now eight points. Boy, Martin really looking good here. point round for him there there was just something off about him in that round well we kept waiting for that point where he'd get hot and rattle off a few in a row but it just never came so it's clay thompson ready to start here you know i feel like guys sometimes start to drift off mentally deep in the round how about you steve did you ever find your focus slipping away as you got to the last couple of rushes yeah, i think my first couple of years you know by the third rack i started thinking about you know, popcorn or you know maybe where I was going to go to dinner later. <laughs> Five points more to stay in it. What can you say? Five more points to stay in it. Seven points. Now nine points. And the young fella, Clay, making it look very easy out here. That gets him into the third hole and books him a place in the finals. 
Hits for 15. And he's got 15 points when the round ends. I'd say he handled that round pretty well, guys. Well, the key was, Kevin, he took six out of a possible 10 points from the money balls. And those are huge points. Uh, you've got to take advantage of them, and he did. So we'll see Jamal Crawford. And one thing about the three-point contest is you can really see how the pressure builds as it goes along. In the first 20 years of this event, only five winners topped the 20-point mark in the final round, and one of them sitting right here. <laughs> yeah, that was a fun day, Clark, but yeah, I think the key is you've got to get off to a good start because it can snowball on you if you miss a lot in those first two rounds. Five points more to stay in it. 11 on the board. Four more points to stay alive. He's got 12. Two more points to stick around. And now he's tied for third here. Well, at this point, he's in the finals. He's moved into third. 16 points is his score for the round. That was a nice piece of shooting we saw from him out there. Yeah, it was a terrific start. He was feeling it from the get-go. And here we go with Danny Granger. It can be a big advantage going last. He knows the score he needs to beat in order to qualify. And 16 points, the bare minimum. But he's to advance. The door's open. A good round would do it. Good rack for him there. Six. He needs eight points more. Now nine points. He needs six points more to advance. And Granger starting to lock in. Three more points to advance. Now 14. Up to 15 now. That ties him up for third here. Down to the final rack. That's his fifth consecutive make. That equals the best score of this round, Kevin. That puts him at the top of the heap. He posts a big number, 24 points. Well, how about that performance, guys? Man, nice work. Nine makes in a row at the end. That was an incredible finish. Granger's got to be pretty happy about his performance in the first round, as it has him looking very, very good for the finals. It's really hard to say who'll have the upper hand in the final round. Those are... Some excellent, very evenly matched clutch shooters. Well, at this stage, you're always going to have great shooters. And, you know, it really is a toss-up at this point. These guys hopefully will bring out the best in each other. And so here's Curry. He's got to improve on his score from the last round if he wants to have a shot to win it. Four points. Now is six. That's seven. shot the fall off 